An increasingly hot topic in coin collecting these days is the subject of VAMs. V-A-M is an acronym derived from the names of Leroy Van Allen and George Malice, the authors of the first definitive books on the subject. Just what is a VAM, you ask? It's a die variety of a Morgan or Peace Dollar that deviates from the normal coin for the particular date and mint. According to VAM expert Jeff Oxman, each VAM number corresponds with an individual die pair. PCGS currently recognizes nearly 350 Morgan and over 50 Peace Dollar varieties. At the recent Long Beach Expo, PCGS Price Guide editor Jaime Hernandez caught up with Jeff Oxman and Ash Harrison to discuss this fascinating but underappreciated subject. Jeff has gained notoriety as the founding president of the Society of Silver Dollar Collectors, while Ash is the SSDC's current president. For more information, visit www.vamquest.com. The subject is indeed timely since Jeff will be joining PCGS's Mike Ferrone to give a comprehensive presentation on VAMs at PCGS's Members Only Show on Thursday, February 18th. So if you're a silver dollar collector or dealer, you won't want to miss it. As an indicator of how much PCGS has helped us on this, uh, they've invited me to come over with Mike Ferrone to talk about, put on a seminar on VAMs, and we're going to be talking about the Hitless 41s. Uh, that's in a couple of weeks, and uh, we're looking forward to it, and we certainly would love to see anybody over there that's interested in learning more about VAM collecting. Hi, I'm Jaime Hernandez. I'm here at the Long Beach Show with Ash Harrison and yep. Jeff Oxman. Uh, Let's talk about VAMs. I know they're very popular. Um, can you tell us what's going on in the VAM market right now? Well, first of all, let, let's start off with where have VAMs been coming from? What is a VAM? Give it a little bit of a background uh, that you might find interesting. Uh, you, it's hard to dive in in the middle, so let's just start at the beginning. Van Allen and Malice were the two originators of VAM, Van Allen and Malice. It's an acronym of their name, and each one started independently in the 1960s. They did the first book in 1971, the second book was in 1976, and they finally got a publisher, and that was the beginning of VAM collecting. It's developed now to the point where there are thousands of VAM collectors, and we're really excited to be a part of that market. Right now, the, the VAM market, we've, we've, uh, we've really worked hard to get the collector base up, as well as the knowledge base of the dealers. One of the, we, we really needed to get both parts of the market together so that we could have collectors that went around the shows and found varieties and it wasn't just uh, a bunch of guys really just disturbing the dealers. Now the dealers have grown in acceptance and they, uh, many of them are very open to people coming in, looking at their coins, and with the advent of getting uh, the VAM numbers on the coins, as PCGS does, that has really helped in acceptance of these coins in the marketplace, and uh, we're really grateful for that, and so we have worked very hard to make the popularity of VAMs grow. We have to have some acceptance from the dealers to, to really allow people to spend a little more than average time to look at coins, but hopefully they'll get a little bit more for the coin, or they'll get the coin sold that they haven't been moving. So that's, it's one of the things that we like to see happen. Ash mentioned the fact that coin collecting in general, and VAMs in particular, is an information-driven aspect of the hobby. No question about it. People, every one of these attribution books deal and answer two questions. The first question is, what is it when you hold a coin in your hand? What silver dollar, you look at the silver dollar, what VAM is it, what variety is it, what is it, and then what is it worth? Every one of these attribution guides answers those two questions in a way that the people can understand it by reading these books. And that's what, how the information drives the market. It, we have three different lists for Morgan Dollars. We have the top 100 list, the hot 50 list, and the latest one uh, which was released at the ANA show last uh, August is the Morgan Dollar hit list 40. And there's one for Peace Dollars which is the top 50. 
Here's an example of, of a coin variety from each one of these. But the point is, they need to know what it is and what it's worth. If we can answer those two questions in these books, we've come a long way to drive this market uh, to the next level. And that's what we're looking at right now. Let me, let me just interject what a VAM is. I mean, we keep talking about VAMs. I think you're starting off with the basic idea. You see, it's the, it's the uh, die on the bottom, the die on the top, and the collar. So you have the anvil die, the hammer die, and the collar die. Each individual die is cataloged by Van Allen. And what happens is the die pair, each individual die pair, this reverse with this obverse results in one VAM number. So that way it's the shorthand to tell everybody we're talking about this reverse and this obverse by saying VAM 3. And how do they, I, the question I get more than anything is where do they come up with the numbers? VAM this, VAM that. It's totally sequential, starting with VAM 1. The first one of the first die pair he just called, whichever one it happened to be, was VAM 1, then VAM 2, VAM 3. So VAM 2 and one date is not the same as VAM 2 and another date that has, that has different attributes altogether. What it is, it's just the second, third, fourth, and we're up to, on the, um, the seven tail feathers, we're up to like 110. Right. You know, so actually it's 230 something uh, on the, the uh, different reverse. So the point is there's large numbers, one, two, three, four, up to a large number. But the shorthand is if you say to me 1878 VAM 110, 110, I know exactly what you're talking about because each individual die pair is cataloged as a VAM variety. Then you look at the top 100, that's individual die pair varieties, then the hot 50 and hit list 40, that's, what, that's about 190 coins. Those are the ones that have more value by and large than the others of the 2,000 to 3,000. You see, so the shorthand helps you in buying and selling and trading. And that was the whole idea that Van Allen and Malice came up with. And other coin series have the same types of identification numbers. And so that's what you need to remember. The VAM number is an identification number specific to one particular die on the reverse and one on the obverse. And that's, it's as simple as that. These numbers sound complicated when you look through these books, but when you realize it's just sequentially one, one to a hundred, then whatever you have, you can look up. And we all know what we're talking about with the same number. And so that's what the VAM is. The VAM is an individual die pair. And what's really important here, and what the real selling point was, everybody already has silver dollars. Everybody in the top, people aren't even silver dollar collectors. They have them in the drawer, or in their bedroom. Everybody has, a, the idea is, you already have the silver dollars. See if any of them are rare varieties. Just like you said, you found a rare one. You paid it a small amount and it was worth a lot. That's the whole idea of all of this publication. You need to get the books to see if the coin in your hand, if you're holding a silver dollar which one it is and if it's listed in any of these then it's worth some money so that's a great starting point it only takes a couple of home run successes to get people uh, VAM collectors for life I have an extensive collection they're all PCGS Good. But <laughs> I, and, and I'm with him uh, he has the top collection in most of the VAMs, and I'm in the top five somewhere. In the, in the registries. In the registries. Mm -hmm. I believe PCGS uh, certifies some 350 to 375 varieties of the Morgan Dollars. Right. And that's, that's a good number. And we, uh, we really appreciate PCGS's uh, slabbing these coins and putting the attributions on them. That's really important to us. They've done it, and uh, we really appreciate that. Well, I think I'm ready to buy a van. All right. And Thank you know, you you've come to the right place to buy one. No. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot.